I know what I wanted to talk about, guys. I totally forgot. Um, this uh, state park, um, they finally reached out to me and gave me my VIP packet. So things are coming along pretty good with them. Um, I'm still waiting on the fingerprint, but they already ran my background. So it seems like I'm going to be um, able to, if I choose to, it's just up to me and what I want to do. But my paperwork, background check, fingerprint, VIP packet, um, which is the location of where they have your RV or travel trailer, you'll have a designated um, full hookup spot. And it's changing you helping out with volunteering, with um, get, keeping the campgrounds clean and ready for the net, next camp, uh, camp camper. Excuse me. So I'm going to keep y'all updated on what I choose to do, but I'm going ahead and sending everything that they're asking of me so I have options. So I finally um, got got approved um, for a state park um, to basically live like part time with full hookups in exchange of doing volunteer work. So guys... I finally um, was able to land on one, but it, it, again, it's going to be my choice and what I want to do moving forward. So I'll just keep you guys updated. The problem is I still need, um, I still need a towing vehicle to move my RV around, but temporarily I'm thinking about doing like a U-Haul rental and um, with the hitch ball and just using that to move my RV to the state park. But yep, I got approved basically, but they're still waiting on um, a fingerprint. And then once they get the fingerprint, then they're going to be looking for it for me to finish up the VIP packet that they just sent me um, over the weekend. So, guys, I'll keep y'all updated on that. Just wanted to um, let y'all know I had totally forgot about it, guys. Guys, I was also looking at other Israelite um, brothers and sisters that have their own land how they're actually teaming up with people like me. So I'm just going to pray about it in my prayer journal that we, um, that if it's in the most highest will that we can link up and I can connect with other like-minded Israelite sister and brothers that I can like move on to the land with my RV. That would be perfect. So I'm going to be praying about that too. So I'll keep y'all in the loop about that as well. Cause, um, I've been, um, getting the word, a lot of Israelite sister and brothers, they've been teaming up together and buying land like acres and acres of land and then just like coming together as a community and like growing their own food um building little tiny homes or having a designated area for like tiny homes and stuff like that so if it's in the most highs will i'm gonna be reaching out to those israelite sister and brothers and seeing how i can be a part of it and I'm probably going to have a next journey of maybe moving to another state. So I'll just keep y'all guys updated about that. But um, it's a lot of them. Um, a lot of my Israelite sisters and brothers like purchasing land and teaming up with other like-minded um, Israelite sisters and brothers and just like getting ready for what's coming. And people that are woke already know what I'm talking about when I say that. So I'll talk to y'all later. Shalom.